Hi guys, how's everyone doing? Y'all ready to talk it up? Alexa, stop. Are y'all ready? How's everyone doing? Missed you guys. Hi, Miss Sheila, my favorite nurse. Congratulations on everything, girl. You're killing it. So proud of you. How's everything going? Is this the last week for the kids to go to school? Welcome, welcome, you guys. Okay, let me see if I can find it over here. It's been a long time. Hope y'all are doing well. Let me see you guys if it'll allow me to share. Okay, give me a minute here. Too bad we can't do it before we go live. We'll have to wait for it to come up live and then possibly we can share. Welcome, welcome. I needed to get my chalk on, you guys. Sorry, hold on real quick. It's getting hot in South Texas. Oh my goodness, I can't find it. If y'all don't mind, please share. Sorry about that. Hi, how are you? We're going to chalk up um, a really big transfer, but it's really easy because it's been cut up into little sections, okay? So today we're going to chalk up, let me find it here, it's part of our spring sweet collection right here. It's called um, the Flower Market Collection Floral Bouquet, or also known as a Tessie Mussy. <laughs> but we're going to use the paper wrapper right here. Isn't that pretty? So that retails for $29.99 in the U.S. and $39.99 in Canada. If anybody is interested, I have my order sheet right here, so just let me know that you want to place an order and we will get it to you. 
um, just message me or do hashtag flower bouquet, okay? So let's select our colors here. Let's see three different greens, maybe two different yellows, and let's try some purples and orchids. Let's see what else. Let's try all these pinks, I guess. Well, raspberry, sorbet, and wild berry are almost identical. So, we'll think about those. Okay. It's warm in here, you guys. Hi, how are you? Welcome, welcome. You wanted one? Okay, um, I think I have your email address and everything, so I'll get you down, Dana. It's $29.99. If we get 10 orders tonight, one of you is going to get a big surprise, okay? Um, it's an 18 by 18, but of course it's um, a D size transfer. So um, you can do a lot of different things with it. Thank you. So we're going to do it on this board. And like I said, we're going to do like a Tussie Mussie, so we'll put it on this, okay? And let's get it ready. I also wanted to do this one, you guys. I got this one in today. The home spun flag. Isn't that pretty? Oh my God, it's adorable. So we'll work on that one too soon because it's almost Memorial Day. We won't do it tonight, but we'll work on it. Yes, thank you for sharing. I've already labeled these, you guys. I just need to cut them out. So let's cut it out. I'm going to pan down so y'all can see what I'm doing. And we're going to use the wrapper. Hope y'all had a wonderful Mother's Day. Rested. Did what you wanted to do. That they treated y'all like queens. I should cut most of it up, right? A Tessie Mussy um, is like French vintage bouquet, a little bunch of flowers is what a Tessie Mussy is. So I don't think we're going to use the stems. But we are going to try and use most of these flowers. So I'll get the stems and the little bunch out. So these are stems, like if you want to put them in this little bunch that holds all of that together. But we're not going to use that one. Not today anyway. We'll use a little bow. This cute little bow. We'll use that. Hi, Jennifer. Welcome. If y'all don't know what Target Tour is, please let me know. But we're going to create a beautiful Tessie Mussy today. Look at that one's hanging on by a thread right there. Welcome, Miss Jennifer. Hope y'all had a great Tuesday. It's almost half day. Hang in there. Okay, these are cute little sprigs of greenery.
hope y'all can see well you guys it doesn't look like it's very bright in here but it is hang in there hold on you all ready to chalk it up I'm going to cut this one a little bit more because I cut into it and I don't like it when they have a little cut and that was totally my fault. Okay, so these are all our flowers. Little flower, the greenery, the little bow, leaves. I was going to get out more of my flowers, you guys, but we're going to use what came with this uh, floral bouquet, okay? If I need to, we'll pull. So I'm going to do it on this huge board that I had painted. And let's audition this, okay? So we're just going to fill it up with a bunch, a bunch of flowers. If you don't mind sharing, I would appreciate it. So we'll put these all over the place. So let's do some greenery first and then we'll work from small to larger flowers or maybe the larger right the larger flowers and then we'll use the smaller ones as fillers okay I think that's the plan to go get my nails done because I can't pick up anything. We'll do the bow last. Okay, you guys, what color should we do? The tissue here. What color should we do the tissue? Hmm. A yellow, perhaps? What do y'all think? Or should we do... We can't do white because the board is white. How about a mint? Let's try a mint. I think it needs to be a mint. Let's go into the blues because I'm not going to do blues. So, how about aquamarine? Aquamarine for the bottom and coastal for right there. Or Caribbean. Oh, we can do mint up here. I'm doing great, Miss Sheila. I'm doing great. Actually, I'm lying teal because of the board. I got at the beginning of April, I got Bell's Halsley. I'm sure you know what that is, Miss Sheila. Um, so I'm recovering. It's moving. The pain is gone. I still sometimes speak like a drunk sailor, but it's coming along and my eye doesn't cry as much. That's why I hadn't done lines because it's sometimes difficult to uh, pronounce the B's and the P's, um, but it's getting a whole lot better. My eye's starting to blink. Um, I have some symmetry now, so I got a mild case of Bell's palsy, but I'm doing so much better. So, um, why lie, right? Um, or why not tell the truth, not that I'm lying, but, um, just pray for me that I get better quicker. I've gone through acupuncture and I'm doing um, a TENS unit. I'm getting massages. So I'm trying to do all the right things, but they say it just takes time and rest. So, um, and de-stress. So that's why we're talking tonight. So we'll, we'll do a teal. Let me pan down so you can see. 
Okay, I'm gonna try and we'll move this as we go. But I had never, ever, ever had something like this or known of anybody who had Bell's palsy. So there you go. Stuff happens. Welcome everyone. So let's fuzz this. You guys, I ordered my fuzzing cloths and I gave them away to some customers. So now I need to order more. But um, Tonka Tour has some awesome fuzzing cloths now. In that beautiful color that Tonka Tour is known for. So, okay, let's do this. Let's do this, you guys. Let me see if I can center this. We're going to make a tall bouquet of flowers. I don't know if I should put wording at the bottom. And that looks about center, but you know me, I've got a measure. One and a half. Oh my God, you guys. I hit it. I hit it on the spot. So that's center. So that's how I have been. So, um, teal, let me see. So teal, and then we'll do the mint right there, okay? How's that? Welcome. Good to see y'all. I know it's been a long time, you guys. I'm sorry about that. Sometimes life gets in the way, and it won't let us chalk. to mix this I haven't used in a long time I think I have another one don't I I thought I had another mint oh yes I do hold on you guys let me use this one it's getting better slowly Yeah, let me use this one so uh, hopefully we will get closer to hitting bottom of that pan. And then the teal. They say, um, it's because of shingles, stress, uh, maybe I was going to get a cold, um, it's a viral type of thing. Actually, they just roll out a stroke and that's that. I don't think there's not enough, there's not enough to know what the heck it is or how, how to cure it. Okay, so I'm going to do the mint first and then we'll do the teal, okay? So here we go, you guys. Hopefully I didn't forget how to do this, right? This one next needs some water. That's a good mix. That tells you how long I've used this. Oh, it's not as bad as I thought. Have you been talking anything?
Who's talking what? What are you talking or what do you plan to talk? You guys, convention is almost um, a month away. Talk a tour convention. Maybe next time y'all can go. We didn't do Monday night talk and sip. Maybe we'll do it next Monday. Analia wasn't available, so had to postpone it or cancel it, I should say. Okay, then let's do the teal. Oh my gosh, you guys, this one's dry, dry, dry. I should have fixed these first, right? Have to work fast. work fast. Okay. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Here we go. soccer games those are important you need to go to them because they'll be done with soccer before you know it they grow up too fast okay and let's lift and reveal this oh you guys look at that detail so pretty so I just put it next to me here in a, a tub of water. Let me put these aside. Cover your paste. It's really hot, so... And the ceiling fans are going. The air conditioner is on. So we got to take care of our paste. Hi, how are you? We're working on the... What do you call it? Flower Market Collection. And it's the Flower Bouquet. Which I like to call the Tussie Mussy. Okay, you guys. Now we have a lot of flowers. But first, let's do the greenery. And see what we're going to do with these, okay? So we'll do the little stems first. And we might have to, I'll buzz it right here. We might have to add, maybe I should do the leaves later. But um, we'll put that one there. And let me put this here so it doesn't touch quite yet. Can y'all see? Hello, Miss Rita. Welcome. Maybe one right here. How are you, Miss Rita? What are you talking? Okay, so we're going to use, I think I'll use Kiwi for the leaves. And should we use Green Envy or Evergreen for those stems? Hope you're doing good, Rita. We're working on the Flower Market Collection. Well, the evergreen is ready to use. Not the evergreen. The green envy, I'm sorry. Um, on the floral bouquet. 
think I'm going to use both, you guys, so don't worry. We're going to use both. Um, and if anybody wants to order it, just do hashtag Green Envy for both. Um, hashtag Floral Bouquet. And um, I'll invoice you. And if we get 10 orders tonight, um, one of you is going to get a big, big, big gift from me. So here we go. Can you all see that? I need to bring it down a little bit. So this is the green envy. Okay, and then let's get another squeegee here. Burnish this down. Burnish it well so it does not leak. Does not seep under your design here. So yes, convention is almost a month away. Getting so excited. I didn't get to go last year because of the floods here in South Texas. Hopefully, I'll be able to get there this year. Okay, I'm gonna put in a, the tub of water, you guys, but I'm gonna wash it really quick. Isn't that pretty? Let me wash it really quick, because I'm gonna use it again, maybe, and it'll be nice and dry. I just have it in a tub of water, just regular tap water. And then I'm putting it on a cherry cloth to dry. Grandma duty time. My eldest son is graduating this Thursday. Aww. I have a niece graduating from high school Friday. Um, so we shall see. Okay, I'm not going to do the leaves. And um, let's start with some of the flowers because the leaves and the rest of this little vine stuff. I don't know. I want to do more vines, you guys. Let me do a few more. Hold on real quick. Let's see if we can have one. Okay. One right there, and I don't want it touching over here because it's not dry yet. So I'll put a little squeegee there just to protect it. I mean, it's dry, but it's not completely dry. And then let's do the other one. to give it some height up here. How's that? It's that time of the year, all these cute graduations from kindergartners, first graders, high schools, universities. It's all good. The next step in someone's life, right? This board is really big, so sorry I can't show it all to y'all. So that one that I just did is evergreen. A little bit darker color. And this one is Kiwi. No, not Kiwi. Green Envy. Green Envy. Sorry. Got carried away there. Just a little bit goes a long way. Make sure you um, remove the excess. 
save your paste. It'll it'll last forever, you guys. I still have my very first um, chalk paste jars that I got. Um, some of them with my kid and some of them from last year. So they do go a long, long way. Isn't that pretty? Oh my God, so that's the green. Isn't that cute, you guys? So now we need to fill in with beautiful flowers. And y'all, hopefully you can help me with the colors. Let me take a sip of water. Welcome. Hello, Miss Barbie. How are you? Are you talking it up, girlfriend? Okay, so we'll do the leaves later because those are going to be fillers. So this is the first flower. And I have the colors I pulled out are plum, orchid, lilac. These, these are some of the old Trocator colors in the little two ounce jars. Then I have wild berry and raspberry sorbet. Very similar in color. This one is more pink. Really cute. Then I have coral and bubblegum pink. These are the two little ounce jars. Hi, Barbie. How are you doing? So let me start with this big one. This one should be in the center. What do y'all think? And what color? A little bit off center. Awesome, Barbie. I'm so happy to hear that. So happy to hear that. Just be careful with too much TV and too much iPad, laptop, computer time because um, and now with my Bell's palsy, they're telling me that all of that is really, really bad for our cornea, our retina, everything. And you know, we're on our computers all day long, our phones and everything. So it's not easy being off that stuff. I'm so happy it went well. Like I said, now you're good for another 100,000 miles. Okay, you guys, do we decide what color? Any suggestions on color? I'm going to put it right there but before I do that I think I'm going to remove a little bit of my greenery now that I know where it's going to go I think just taking breaks. Just taking a little break here and there so we rest. And that's easier said than done. <laughs> okay, right here. Yellow. I didn't give you all yellow option, right? Okay. The yellow options I have are canary and buttermilk. And I also have school bus yellow, but I thought that was a little bit too harsh. This one's very pale. It might not show up. So school bus yellow or buttermilk.
So it can be like the yellow rose of Texas, but it's not a rose. I don't know what it is. They're all just flowers of some sort. And then I'll wash it because I think I need two of these. I think a more romantic yellow would be the buttermilk. So I'll go with yellow, but I'm going to go with buttermilk. Thank you for the suggestion. Yes, for Texas, you're absolutely right. Absolutely right. Okay, here we go. Can y'all see right there? Look how fast this stuff dries. Yeah, the buttermilk, it's a cute romantic color. Okay, you guys, in South Texas, because it's very hot and humid, the humidity really doesn't help the paste to stay moist. Um, so, I'm going to have to go and start um, mixing all my paste like every two to three weeks just to make sure it doesn't get super rock hard. Isn't that crazy? And it's not like I haven't been chalking. I just haven't been chalking on live, but I've been chalking. So here we go. If anybody is new and you don't know what's going on, this is Chocotour. This is a high-end DIY company that specializes in reusable transfers. We have amazing chalk paste that's water soluble. We also have ink that goes, that is permanent after it's heat set. Oh, that is so pretty. Let me wash it. Kind of looks like a hibiscus. And the transfers are reusable over 12 times depending on how you take care of them and you can mix and match combine your transfers to do custom designs your own personal design we also have fonts a letter font so you can uh, letter fonts hello so you can um, you know, customized names and different things. Yes, it's so romantic. This is part of that little stem, but it's okay, you guys. No big deal. So let me cover up the yellow. And then the next flower looks like, what is that? Like a, not a chrysanthemum. What do you call that? I don't know. They're just wildflowers, right? So we're going to let that dry a little bit and I think we're going to put another one up here somewhere. Okay. <laughs> yeah, go check on him, right? That is funny, Barbie. Um, this transfer is from the flower market collection and it's called the floral bouquet and it retails for $29.99 so if you would like one and we get 10 people to order tonight we only need eight more <laughs> um, one of you will win an awesome gift from me Okay, so that's almost dry. Let's get this other little flower going. And what color should we do this one? We're trying to go, I guess, for like a spring bouquet of sorts. Spring summer bouquet. So 
now put it way down here and what shall we use now we can double up you know we can Welcome, you guys. Let me go for this orchid. I'm going to do orchid. Let's see how this paste looks. Try not to open your paste over your design because there's a lot of little crumblies that come with that. But this one didn't have a lot, so we're okay. Welcome, you guys. We're doing a floral bouquet, also known as a Tessie Mussy. If you like French vintage stuff, orange or purple. Awesome! Oh, hi, Miss Dana. Hope you're doing well. I missed you. And here we go. <gasps> Look at that, you guys. So pretty. Look at that. So we have a yellow and we have a orchid. And it kind of does look like one of the orchids. Hope you're doing good, Miss Dana. I'm getting over, or I'm trying to recover, Dana from Bell's Palsy. That's hard to say, you know. Oh, you too, Dana. Oh, my goodness. Well, I hope you get better soon and feel better. I'm glad you're here. A lot of people have been ill with different crazy things, that's for sure. Okay, so let me wash that one too. No, I don't need that one. Well, let me wash it just in case we might use it again. And I don't know what this um, illness that I had has done to me, you guys, but I've also gotten into this crazy... Um, you had that, Dana? I've gotten into this crazy thing of baking. You know, I've always loved baking and cooking. Uh, cooking and baking like crazy. And cooking for like lots of people. Let me see y'all. Just so you can see me. Hi, guys. See, this is my right side is my affected side. So I'm barely starting to smile. I've had it for a month. The worst thing is drinking and speaking. Oh yeah, and your eye waters like crazy. But um, I've seen some, supposedly I have a mild case of it. Um, and I think I do. But... Um, I've seen people with really, really, really bad cases of it. And it's just, you know, it, it plays on your mind, you guys. It, it's hard on, on your mind because you worry. You never thought you'd want to see wrinkles on your forehead or your crow's feet or whatever. Or your smile, you know, you lose your smile. You speak like a drunk. You sound like a drunk. I got acupuncture, Dana. I got acupuncture and now I have a TENS unit that I use every night. And I'm doing live videos on this Bell's Palsley uh, Facebook page um, because I didn't know how many people were affected by this. But anyway, I do an update and we all tell each other what we're doing, what's worked best, things like that. Oh, really, Dana? Yeah, I've heard that some people get it 
two or three times. Yeah. So did you go to the chiropractor for acupuncture or massage therapy? There's also a new thing called laser therapy. But uh, nobody down here does it that I know of yet. You know, we live over here in the, the middle of nowhere, South Texas. It's crazy. It's crazy because, you know, being Hispanic, old wives' tales and things like that, my grandma would always say, cover your head, cover your ears when you go outside that you don't get cold air hitting your face. Um, your face is going to go crooked. Se te van chocar la cara. And, um... And then um, also they would say don't take a shower a hot shower and go into a cold room or for the fan to hit you right so of course we never listen for adjustments I see well I went to a chiropractor but he uh, said acupuncture was best Um, so, you guys, it was a Tuesday night. I was speaking with Analia on the phone, and I was telling her, man, I'm just so tired. I am so tired. Maybe I'm coming down with something. I am just exhausted. So, um, after we hung up, you guys, I go to bed really late. Okay, this was Plum. I go to bed really, really late. Well, that night... I fell asleep watching my TV. You're so funny. The dog was playing with a cat toy. Anyway, I went to bed really, really, really early. I fell asleep early. I didn't go to bed. I just fell asleep watching TV because I was just so tired. And I just took it for granted. Or I just thought maybe it's because, you know, I've just been working way too hard too long hours so then um wednesday morning i woke up with half my face not working and you know how i found out i went to the bathroom you know do your stuff get ready for work brushing my teeth and it's like i'm a sprinkler you know you hold your breath or you hold the liquid you know so you can rinse and then spit out well it was just spitting out it was dribbling I'm like, what the heck? I didn't think anything of it. I still hadn't looked in the mirror. And then, <laughs> hi Gina, I'm telling crazy stories. Well, it really happened, but it's a crazy story. So then I go to my room and I start putting on my makeup and I notice, hey, my eye's not blinking. And hey, I can't raise my eyebrow. You know, just different stuff that I was noticing that was happening. So, of course, I get up, my mom's up, she made breakfast for me, and I just get my breakfast and I leave because I was scared. So, I get to Harlingen and I go to the ER. Um, after a while, I go to work first and then I go to the ER because I wasn't getting any better. Uh... So I go to the ER and um, finally they rule out stroke. So, okay, great. I wasn't having a stroke. Um, and right away the doctor told me, okay, we can do an MRI, we can do an EKG, we can do this, we can do that. But really we think it's both falsely. Just give it time, go home. We're gonna give you an antiviral medication Yes, it's scary, Gina. There's nothing you can do. And we're going to give you steroids. Um, what do you call that? What do you call them? What's the other word for steroids? Oh, shoot. I lost the word. You nurses know. Anyway. And I hate steroids, you guys, because I gained so much weight with steroids. And sure enough, 
in the week that I took those steroids, I gained 10 pounds. Wasn't even eating because I was just so exhausted. So, finished my bout of steroid medication and my antiviral. And they also recommend for me to take, what do you call them? B6, B12, zinc. All these vitamins, right? So, of course, yes, that's the word. Yay, Barbie! That's the stupid word. So, I'm taking all that stuff. I'm not eating well because I didn't want to gain weight, but I knew I was going to gain the weight anyway. <laughs> um, and then a friend of mine, Debbie Simpson, I don't know if you know her, and Mary Lou, you know Mary Lou, Dana, they tell me, um, you need to go get massage, you need to go get acupuncture, you need to do this, you need to do that. I knew so-and-so, everybody that would come into the store would tell me, so-and-so had it and this is what they did. And so-and-so had it and they never got better. That's the one I didn't want to hear. And so-and-so got it and... You know, they did this or they ate that. You know, everybody wanted to tell you what they did. And some people, bless their hearts, I mean, they were all trying to do good, right? Oh, that's so pretty. That was coral, of course, one of my favorite colors. Everybody, and some people would just look at me and they noticed something was different, but they didn't know what. Or they didn't want to say and then finally they would say are you okay and I said yeah I'm okay I just came down with this and they're like you know so then they wanted for you to talk to them and tell them and at that time it was even harder for me to speak because I sounded drunker than a drunk um, I was slurring everything just because I couldn't speak Yes. Well, after you get this, you realize. What's your name? Um, oh, that pretty girl. The one with the big lips. Angelina Jolie. Uh, George Clooney. All these people get it, right? You, you learn so much about it once you get it. Hope nobody gets it. Um, it's like, well, I don't care. And it only lasted a week or two for them. And I'm like, of course, they're actors. They have lots of money. Anyway, um, I, I started looking on YouTube. I started looking on YouTube. I started um, researching everywhere on Dr. Google. <laughs> Y'all know Dr. Google, right? Um and just trying to learn as much. I wasn't gonna talk about this, but you know, maybe um, what's happened to me will help somebody else. And it's really not as, it is bad, it's terrible. But I've seen a lot of girls, young girls and young men. There's three actually that I've read about that took their lives because they couldn't deal with it. And the thing is, most of the time, like 95% of the time, it's not permanent, it'll go away. You might end up with a little residual thing here and there, or synchronesis, they call it, where it's like you wanna pucker and your eye blinks, weird stuff. Anyway, um, weird things that happen. Anyway, what was my point? So, okay, so everybody at the store wanted to know what was wrong with me. They would look at me People that didn't know me would just kind of look at me and didn't know what. They knew something was not right. So then my close friends or my close customers that would come by, of course, I would tell them, look at me, you can't tell what's wrong. They're like, no, but something's different. And then I go, don't make me laugh because when I laugh, it's the ugliest thing. Only half of your face moves. Um... Okay, I'm kind of crowding them, and I shouldn't, but I am. Anyway, um, I would tell them finally, we'll stop.
trying to figure it out, let me tell you what happened and let me tell you what works and doesn't work. So they're like, oh yeah, now I can see. And I'm not vain, you guys, and I don't always wear makeup every single day. But let me tell you, wearing this makeup really does help. Why and how do you get it? I really don't know the answer to that. I don't think anybody knows the answer to that. There's a lot of guesses, Gina. They say it's stress. It could be you getting shingles or instead of getting shingles, you get that. Um, it could be uh, recovering from a cold, a flu. A lot of pregnant women get it. No, I'm not pregnant. Um, to me, it seems like more women get it than men. Or it's just more women have reported that they've had it than men. I don't know. Um, what else? They say it's like a herpes, you know, like a herpes virus, a cold sore. Um, so many different things. Yes, Barbie, you need to order this transfer. It's really pretty. You can do a lot of different things with it. Um, what else? What else happens? Stress, pregnancy, uh, an old wives' tale is like cold air hits you, or you went to bed with your hair wet and you went in and out of hot and cold temperatures. Um, it's crazy. Nobody really knows. The first thing they do is rule out a stroke. Hold on, you guys. I'm watching these transfers because I might need them again. So just hold on real quick. And you know, I'm always stressed, but I don't think I was under extra stress. I think I was overworked. You know, we all work so much. You know, two guys, guys, guys that have had it. Yeah. Your best friend gets it when she's really stressed. So she's had it once and then it flares up when she gets stressed. Well, then I'm always going to have it because I'm always stressed. My daughter says it's because I'm a control freak. Yes, it's a nerve. That's true, Miss Dana. It's a nerve that comes out of your brain, your head, and it comes through a little hole on each side of your, um, like on top of your ear. And your skull has this tiny little hole. So the nerve gets inflamed, stressed, a virus, whatever, and it can't work anymore. So you have nerves that come down here to your nose, the bottom of your eye, the top of your, your forehead, all these nerves that look like a hand like this. And they just stop responding because they're inflamed. And you'd be surprised, they, you know, my taste buds, they couldn't taste. My nose was like flat right here. Your eye doesn't blink. Um, what else? Um, it affects your hearing. It didn't affect mine. But it affects your hearing and I was like numb behind the ear. Um, it's like when you go to the dentist. It's like when you go to the dentist and they're about to, in they inject you and you're about, everything's about to fall asleep or you're coming out of that anesthesia. That's what it feels like. You just can't move it or anything. Wow, Barbie, I don't know what that is, but I'm going to look into it. The baby's doing good. He is a year and eight months. He is so cute. And, of course, a grandma would say with that, right? And he is so smart. Thank you, Miss Rita. 
Yep, that's really what I need is just prayers. And like I said, I'm not vain, but, okay, I'm missing one already. Okay. We're going to do the big one again. I'm not vain, but, you know, when you lose your smile or you can't blink and see things the way you used to, that's hard, you guys. When you are ordering at a drive through or you're on the phone trying to explain something and the people don't understand what you're trying to say because you sound like a drunk bum like I keep saying it's terrible it is terrible it's an anxiety medication oh Nah, I don't think that's for me. I really don't take any medication at all. I mean, I will. I'm not saying I don't. But, you know, I, it has to be a lot before I take Tylenol or anything. I just rough it. Okay, I already used coral. Hold on. So we're going to do coral again. And I'm not in, you know, I don't have anxieties. That I know of. <laughs> and while all of this was going on, I had a friend, a guy friend, who was going through prostate. What do you call it? He needed to go to surgery to get his prostate removed. So that Monday morning, I already it was like a few days into the bells because it happened on a Wednesday it was a Monday morning had to take him for surgery I was there all day he had complications and I ran into Miss Terry there on the third floor but oh my goodness you guys I was there helping out a friend because he has nobody else and I was just so tired. My eye was runny and runny. Oh my goodness, it was just the hardest day for me. And it wasn't even about me, it was about my friend. Okay, Miss Dana, we'll see you soon. Take care. Take care so you get over what you had. Okay, there's another one. Okay, you guys, so we've got to incorporate another color. Let's bring the orchid up on top. We've got to have some balance here. It helps with stress. Oh my goodness. You know, but I'm one of those I think that likes to work, works better under pressure. So I think I do it to myself, right? Okay, we need something. We need a flower there. Uh, let's do a little one. Thank you, Dina. Yep, I'm getting better. I want to get much better because the pictures for convention. Oh my God. Can't wait. I want to be able to smile big. I can smile small. I can't smile big. Okay, orchid. But if you know of anybody that goes through this, you know, there's a lot of support on YouTube, believe it or not, and here on Facebook. Um, that really helps. That is so cute, you guys. That little flower is adorable. I almost want to order two of these because I don't have to be washing so much.
so that's why I haven't been on also because I didn't think y'all could understand what the heck I was saying and my eye kept crying and crying and because I was just exhausted I needed to like just sleep And I think it was those steroids. I think those steroids work the opposite on me. Wild berry. So chalking has been a lifesaver, to say the least. Okay, let's do this one. Ay, ay, ay. It's hard to figure out where to put these. I guess it can overlap, right? The flowers need to touch each other. I'm trying to find my dirty squeegee here. So this one is called Wild Berry. Pretty. So anyway, you guys, it was scary going to the ER by yourself, and nobody knew. I hadn't told anybody. So my mom didn't know till I got home from work, and uh, I got home late. I got home really late that day, and uh, she was, "How was work?" And I'm fine. I did go to work, you know, but how was work? Fine. And she goes, are you going to have dinner? And I'm like, yeah, I need to eat something. And all of this time, we're just like talking, but not looking at each other. So then she goes, are you going to go do a live? And I said, no. Now I'm going to go to bed. She goes, you're going to go to bed? Are you okay? And then I told her, look at me. <laughs> look at me, mom. And she goes, oh my God, what happened? Now it's not a stroke. Thank God. And I go, this is what it is. And then, you know, she was... Like she wanted to cry and I told her, don't cry. It's gonna make, she was wanting to tell me I could have gone with you, whatever, whatever. And I'm like, I just didn't want you to worry. She goes, don't you ever do that to me again. So of course I told my kids over the phone. It's hard, you guys. It's hard for you not to make people worry for you. And then, you know, you want, you want them to help you and then you don't want to tell them. It's bizarre. Okay, so one more big flower. What do y'all think? Or more of the little ones. I think more of the little ones, right? But I'm, I'm having for them to dry. Where is it? Here it is. They need to dry because they're wet. So there's my sad story. My crazy life. Okay. What other color? We used orchid lilac, I guess. Lilac is orchid and plum. Okay, I don't think I've used lilac yet. So I like to call these a Tessie Mussy. I have made a lot of them with um, 
vintage lace and silk flowers and the paper that represents it, you know, the bunch holding it together. I've done with linen and embroidered um, ribbon work. You guys, I love to quilt also. And I love to work with ribbon and embroidery and stuff like that. For those of you that did not know. But yes, while I was sick, I did do a lot of baking <laughs> and a lot of cooking. I wouldn't eat half the stuff, but a lot of friends and um, neighbors got a lot of delicious food. I feel like it needs more, you guys. Like it's not symmetrical yet. I like three, so there's three of that one. Maybe I do need the big one. I like threes. Maybe even if it falls off. If it falls off the, what do you call it? Okay, let's try this craziness. Bubblegum Peak. Don't try this at home, kids. I don't know if it's going to work. Let's see if it's going to work. Of course it's going to work. It's Chocotour, right? do littles littles I think I need a little over here pink a little pinky there you guys can y'all see sorry I get quiet I'm just like loving this let me wash it This is so therapeutic, you guys. And you know how we love to work with our hands. Thank you, Rita. I don't think Facebook really is letting us share, but we keep trying. Facebook has been so weird. And a lot of people have said that, so it's just crazy. Okay. This little one. It's gonna go here once that dries. Okay, I can't do anything there. Okay, let's go back to this one. Thank you guys for sharing. Okay, right about there. And I need something to hold it up. And let's do another plum. Ugh! You guys, I just closed this and I closed it so tight like nobody's getting in there. Hi, Julie. How are you? Julie, this is the one I was telling you about that you were asking. It's um, the Flower Market Collection. It retails for $29.99. And if you order it tonight, and I get 10 orders before the night is up, one of you is going to get a big gift from me. It's Chocotour related, of course. So if you want to place an order, 
Let me know. I can write you down. It's an 18 by 18 size transfer, but you cut it up into a bunch of little pieces. Let me show you what it looks like in the catalog. This is what it looks like in the catalog right there. It's $29.99 in the U.S. and in Canada it's $39.99. So Canadians can order it as well. Thank you. I'll write you down. I appreciate it. It's only if we get 10 orders tonight. Even if it's at midnight, you can let me know. Let me write you down before I forget. So that's our third. We only need seven more. <laughs> And I've got your info, same um, email address. If it's different, let me know. I've got your email address so I can send you an invoice. Doop, 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 doop. Okay, guys, we need more little flowers. And then it's going to do this one. Just a partial, a partial of this one, and and wild berry. Let me see. We do current jam, so it looks like an old flower. Okay. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. It's only another partial flower, you guys. Like it's tucked behind another one. Yes, you can share and uh, let your co-workers know. And as long as they message me or text me tonight, Yeah, if I get 10 tonight, yes, absolutely. It's like, um, you wanna know what I'm giving away? Um, it's bigger than the value that you're purchasing, the retail price of $29.99. It's Chocotor product, and it's like a bundle, a bundle. And I will ship it out with um, your transfers when they come in. I'll ship them out or we can meet somewhere and you can pick it up. Okay, I'm gonna put this one, you guys, in the center of the yellow one. I just feel like it needs a little something something there. What do we do? Um, let me do coastal. Let me do coastal in the middle of that one. Just to brighten it up a little bit. Hopefully that'll work. If not, epic fail. Epic fail. That looks cute. Let me 
wash it again. You see how many times I'm using these flowers over and over again, you guys? And they are still super sticky. That's what's awesome about Chaka Toy. Can y'all see that? Look at that center of that yellow one now. Adorable. So pretty. Those big ones look like hibiscus blossoms. Hibiscus. Okay, we're not finished. I think one more blossom. And maybe two more blossoms. And then we'll do greenery, more leaves, or some leaves. You know what, you guys? I'm going to use these, but with color. Like a little sprig of color. But oh, where's my other one? Don't y'all love it when I talk to myself? <laughs> I'm missing one. I found it. I found it. So like this. And it'll be a sprig of color. Okay. Let's do orange. And a current jam. Y'all are so quiet. So quiet. Watch you guys. It doesn't have to be greenery. So pretty. Okay, let's wash it. You guys, y'all need to order this, the ones that are designers, because you can incorporate all these beautiful blossoms and little greenery with so many of your other transfers. You know how we always need more flowers, more, more, more. Okay, then like right here. To do, to do, to do. Coral. Let's do coral. I really should open my poppy and my peony. little bit of coral. See, I didn't even do the whole, the whole, what do you call it? Transfer, you guys. Just partial. Just what we need. Cute. Wash, wash, wash. dry a little bit. Thank you guys for hanging in there. Okay. So now shall we add some leaves? Let's try and do the leaves. Hey, we got one more order. They're messaging you guys. If y'all want one, y'all better Speak up. 
Where's my pen? Right here. Thank you. These are her co-workers, you guys. Don't forget to message me your um, your phone number and email, okay? Okay, we only need... We only need six more orders. <laughs> we only need six more orders. We're getting there. Don't give up. Don't give up. Till midnight. It's called Floral Bouquet, and it's from the Flower Market Collection. Oh, those are little crumbs. Okay, now the greenery, you guys. You know what? Let's that, let that dry and let's do the little bow. What color should we do the bow? An awesome little bow. Maybe Nantucket, a darker color. A darker color of the teal. Uh -huh, Nantucket. Or peacock. That's too bright, right? Nantucket. But then this looks like the frame, so maybe peacock. Periwinkle. No. Too bright? I think Nantucket. Okay, Nantucket, Nantucket. We've made a decision. I think Nantucket is okay. So, another squeegee. Let's position the little bow. It comes with a sweet, sweet little bow. Let me see. Oh my gosh, can I see? y'all see the little bow? Okay, here we go, Nantucket. Aww. So sweet, you guys. So cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, greenery. Now we need lots of greens. But we'll just try the kiwi. So let's do this leaf. Thank you for sharing. Okay, this, you guys, I'm going to try and apply three times before I wash, okay? So we'll see. We'll see if we can do it. You just hold a corner here. And this is kiwi. Remove the excess. Let's put one here. And what I do is I just, I uh, burnish as I add the chalk paste. Do you know what I mean? I don't even put it down. I make the chalk paste push the transfer down. Let's put another one right here. was three times. Let me put another one right here. I didn't even 
that chalk paste, you guys. I used what was on the transfer already. Is that cute? Okay. Now with a different green. Green Envy, Sheila's color. We're going to do the other leaf. And I'm going to try and use it three times also before I wash it. Okay. So let's do one here. Green and green. Oops, that's way too much paste. Don't get too excited. Woo! That one's more dominant, isn't it, you guys? Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Where'd I put it? Okay, right here. Welcome. This is so relaxing, you guys. Put one here. I'll put one here. Partial one. I just put a partial one right there. Let me do a partial one over here. I'm not even re, um, reapplying chalk paste, you guys. I'm just using what's on the squeegee and what's on the transfer. Amazing! What do y'all think? I think we're done! Big, huge, tussie mussy, you guys. Okay, now who's going to come help me wash all of these transfers? No, most of them are done because I was washing as I was going. Okay, let me pick it up. Look at that, you guys. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. So pretty. Does it need more? I think that yellow one needed something. Maybe even the outline. But I'm going to leave it alone. I'm happy. They're just different flowers. Right? This way. So pretty. Okay, you guys. For those of you who ordered, thank you very much. Uh, this is from the Flower Market Collection. And this is the Floral Bouquet. It's $29.99 in the U.S. If you are from Canada, you can also order. And it's $39.99. If we get 10 orders tonight, there'll be a drawing. One of you that places an order will get... A really nice gift it's a talkative bundle from me but we need 10 people to order okay awesome you can always message me or text me okay so that is it for tonight you guys hope y'all had a great time hope y'all order those that are designers I hope y'all order this because it's versatile you can use it a lot of different ways. You can um, incorporate it with all your other beautiful transfers, okay? 
So you all have a good evening. Thank you for joining me and thank you for listening to my sob story. And you all take care of yourselves and we'll see you soon, okay? Hopefully, oh, I got another message, you guys. We got another order. Okay, all we need is five more orders, you guys. Five more orders. They're $29.99. Uh, they'll come to me. I'll order them and I'll ship them out to you. They're $29.99, like I said. Um, it's an 18 by 18 size transfer. It's pretty big. So I'll probably roll it up and set it in a, um, a tube, a mailer. And you can also get this and one of you will be the lucky winner. Okay? So y'all have till midnight. Talk to you soon. We'll see you soon. Okay? I'll try and be more uh, here more often. Good night, you guys. Take care.